Hey there! Welcome to Crafty Kathy, where you will find love, laughs, and DIYs. Hey, if this is your first time ever coming here, let me introduce myself. I'm Crafty Kathy, and I am tickled pink that you're here today. I hope that you would consider subscribing and becoming a part of our family here on YouTube. All you have to do is hit that little red button and you're in. Look what I got for you guys today. It's the cutest little tear trade items I have ever seen. And every single one of them is embellished with a button. And so I call this cute as a button. I think you guys are really gonna like this. I did 14 different tear trade projects to represent the 14th of February. So let's get into our first one. I got these little foam dice from Dollar Tree and they're the ones that have two in a pack. And I'm gonna make the cutest little marshmallow man you've ever seen. All you need is your dice and you're gonna need two white balloons or whatever color that you want your marshmallow to be. But I wanted mine to be white. So you just take and cut the balloons kind of in half. You cut them at the bottom of the neck where it starts to get round and you just pull it over the dice. It's very easy. You just kind of stretch it around there and then you're going to do that to the second balloon because you want them to be totally white. You don't want to see any of that orange through there. And then I just cut it off a little bit at the bottom and don't worry, it lays flat with no problem. Then I used a pencil to make his little eyes and his little mouth. And I just made a simple little eyes and mouth. I'm no artist. And then I went over it with the black Sharpie. Now I'm going to take this color called Pink Blush. And this is by Apple Barrel. And I just barely have a little bit on my brush to make his little cheeks all cute and rosy. Now I take my stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and I painted some light pink and some with that blush pink and I just took two of the blush pink ones off and stuck them on the cheeks. I'm taking the color Truffle by Waverly because it looks like chocolate and I just kind of poured it on the top of him and kind of helped it with the brush to run down off of the side just like chocolate would be doing if it somebody poured chocolate on his head and it turned out so cute. I just think it's adorable. I just kind of rolled the paint around with my hand to make sure that it's not going to drip down too far and then I dried it with my little dryer. Then I took the word love off of this little transfer sheet that came from the Dollar Tree and it's a small little word that says love and what I'm going to do is take this little wooden sticker, it came from Dollar Tree also, most of the things here did, and I painted it blush pink. I let it dry, and then after I dried it, I took that word love and just transferred it on there. And to transfer it, all you do is pull the back off, and then you get something in either your fingernail or some little stick or something like I'm using here, and you just kind of scratch over it, and then the word is going to be transferred on there. So I thought it would be really cute to kind of just stick this right on the top of his head in the chocolate. And then I took a ribbon that was a sheer ribbon. I cut it in half and just tied a little shoestring bow. And we're going to stick that on the side of his little head. And then I also added my signature touch, which was a couple of little buttons up there on that little heart that says love. And look how sweet he turned out. And it just made me want a Hershey bar. Moving right along, I'm gonna try to go as quickly as possible for the sake of the video so I don't bore you guys and it's not so long. I got this little red truck at Dollar General for a dollar. And as you see, it was red for Christmas. And I've got this color called Sunset Rose, which is a very pinky bubblegum pink color and it's by Home Decor, and I had to give this two coats of the pink. Now, this Home Decor is a chalk paint, and like I said, it took two coats to cover up over the red, but I finally did cover it up, and it even had like a little wreath in the front of it, which was red and green, so the part that was red, I painted it pink, and it actually looked like it was made that way, like a little spring truck. It was so cute. After I got the two coats of the Sunset Rose color, I let it totally dry. 
And then I wanted to put some glitter on it because I thought it would make it just cute as a button and just kind of sparkly. And this glitter is like an iridescent glitter. It's not really white. It's kind of like a, it's just a sparkly clear white. You see the color? It's so pretty. I put it all over the truck and then I took some of my little stickers again that I had painted with that blush pink color and I'm going to put these on the wheels of the truck. And out of a sticker pack from the Dollar Tree, I got this wood heart and I picked out the word on that transfer sheet that says sincerely. And it's an also a transfer and I just put it on that little wood heart and used my little scraper to get it off there. I glued that heart down to the bed of the truck and then I took a little arrow off of that transfer sheet and I put it on the door of the truck and then I finished off by getting some buttons and putting it under that word sincerely on the heart and it turned out so cute. Every tiered tray has to have the little truck on it. Now we're moving right along to number three and this one is my favorite. It's going to be the little gnome. So I just took a regular size sock and I'm going to cut the sock off right up above the heel. Then I added some beans in the bottom of the sock so the little gnome would stand up. And I didn't put a whole lot. I would say it was probably like three tablespoons. And I show you here how much is in there. It's not very much at all. Because I only wanted the beans for the purpose of holding him down like a little weight. So I took the rest of the sock that I didn't use and kind of balled it up. And that's going to be the body of the gnome. And then I just tied it off with my rubber band. The fuzzy gray sock is going to be his hat. So I cut right after the toe part, as you see, because you can make two hats out of this. This can be one hat. And I didn't really like the way that looked. It was kind of a toboggany look. And at first I thought I was going to use that one, but I like the other hat better because it kind of flopped down to the side and it just looked like a little gnome's hat to me and it was cute. So what I did was right where the heel is at, I tied it with the rubber band and flipped it inside out. And this is the part that's going to go on his head. And you just cuff the bottom part up and it just looks natural like it is his little hat. I used a little half bead for his nose and I just glued that right underneath where the little cuff of the hat is. And the only fur that I had to make his little beard was like a ribbon that I had from Christmas and it was a furry ribbon. So what I did was cut it in the shape of a rainbow. And that's the part that I glued underneath the nose and it came right up to the sides of the hat perfectly to make his little beard. And then I just made sure that it was all glued on the sides right so it's not going to look strange and it actually did look like a little beard. And this is what we've got so far. I have a little heart that I made the other day. I had taken a napkin and decoupaged it on this little heart. And I'm going to glue this to the side of my gnome and it looks like he's holding it. And it's the cutest little thing. Then I took some more of those hearts and I painted them with a color called seashell pink. And this is a color by Folk Art. And I'm going to place a couple of these little hearts on his hat when they dry. And then I just added my signature button. And the way that I like to do that is put one larger button and then a smaller one on top of it. I just think that's cute. And my gnome is so adorable. If you're enjoying this video so far and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, here's your chance. Hit that little red subscribe button and become a part of our family here on YouTube. 
We would love to have you. And guys, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because it really helps support my channel here on YouTube. All right, let's keep moving into number four. This is one of those small houses that came from the Dollar Tree a few months ago. And it's no secret that I love to decoupage with napkins. So I have this beautiful napkin that has these two little angel babies on it. And I really, really like the pink flowers that's at the bottom of it. And I thought that would be cute to decoupage that on the front of my house. I use a little Mod Podge on my fingers to make sure that I have separated all of those layers of that napkin because you have to get down to the last layer. And most napkins have two layers on them. So all I did was just put a little bit of Mod Podge on the front of the house because it was so small, I just did it all in one section and I laid the flowers down over the top of it and just kind of used my brush and my fingers very gently to press it into that house. I find it easier anytime I'm decoupaging anything to do it into small sections. So I did that first section and now I'm gonna do the other side. And as you see, this house is very small, but you just have more control when you do it in smaller sections. You have to work very slow and just be careful and always have your saran wrap ready so that you can use it to press down and get any wrinkles out. And I just kind of went around the side of the house with the napkin that was left over and then got the bottom part of it off. I made sure to really get up inside the roof really good and around the edges where that napkin would lay. Then I thought it would look good to paint the roof this seashell pink color. And I don't know what I was thinking because after I put it on there, I really didn't like it. So I went back over it with the gray color and when I use my gray color, I always like to use that Apple Barrel Pewter Gray, it's called. It's kind of a darker gray, and that's what I used eventually to get the roof. I used a small nail file to get in all of the little crevices of the house to get in the doorway, and then it had a couple of little windows, and I find it easiest to use some type of an emery board or nail file to get the napkin off because it comes right off easily and on the sides you can just use your little sanding sponge or anything you've got i even cut my emery board in half so i could get down in there a little bit easier now for the fun part we're going to put some glitter on this house and make it beautiful I just put a little bit of Mod Podge on the roof when it was dry, and I sprinkled my iridescent glitter on the top. I did the exact same thing to the front of the house by putting some Mod Podge on top of the napkin and then the glitter, and it turned out so pretty. I don't normally do a lot of glitter, but for Christmas and Valentine's Day, that's an excuse to play in your glitter, and I think it turns out beautiful. I took my chalk paint called Sunset Rose by Home Decor and just painted the sides of the house that color and the back of the house, and it just matched the flowers perfectly. And it just makes a cute, sweet little house to go on your tiered tray. I took one of my very small solo wood flowers and painted it with the sunset rose also. I added my little rosette to the house and my signature button, and I think this is cute as a button. Now we're moving right along into number five. I have a small wooden tag that I purchased off of Amazon and anything that I mention that I get off of Amazon is always in my Amazon store link below in case you guys are in need of it. And I got like eight of these little tags I think for just a couple of dollars and they're always handy to have. They're blank, they don't have anything on them. And I took my pewter gray and went over both sides and I sprayed it with just a little bit of water. So instead of coloring this gray, it's gonna be kind of like a stain. 
We're going to do a little decoupage again. Surprise, surprise. I love to do my decoupage. So what we're going to do is just do it in pieces like I showed you before. I've got this gorgeous napkin. And I get a lot of my napkins off of eBay because you can get like two or three napkins for just two bucks with shipping and all. And I mean, that's all you need is a couple, you know. So anyways, I do it in like little sections like I did earlier. I just put my Mod Podge down, lay it down, and I always use my saran wrap because that way the napkin doesn't stick to your fingers and you can get all those wrinkles out. I'm sorry that I sped this up a little bit, but just for the sake of trying to get the video done, I don't want to bore you guys to death showing you things that you know how to do or that I do repetitive. You know what I mean? I've got one of these gorgeous hearts that came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go over it with my Sunset Rose. And I absolutely love these transfers from the Dollar Tree. It's the ones that have all the French writing on them, and I love French Farmhouse. A lot of people ask me, what is French Farmhouse? And it's kind of like Shabby Chic, but it's got a little bit more of a farmhouse fling to it, if that makes sense. So... I absolutely love this transfer. Like I said, I like for all of my stuff on my tear tray to have kind of the same theme, which on this one, it's all pink. It's all buttons. <laughs> and we have, you know, a lot of the French writing. So anyways, I'm just going to take my beautiful little heart and put it on the side, kind of sideways on my little tag. And then I use my sanding sponge to get those edges off. Now, when you decoupage, you definitely want to use a sanding sponge because it makes the edges perfect. I am simply going to use this little transfer that says JTM, which means I love you in French. I do know some little things. And because I speak Spanish, it's strange, but a lot of the words kind of look the same. You just have to pronounce them a little different. Anyways, that's just a little tidbit. Not that anybody even wants to know, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. So, look at this gorgeous little hemp rope. I got this at the Dollar General, and I really like it better than I do my jute twine. So, I'm going to use some of that, and I'm wrapping around it like I'm almost fanning it, making it look like a fan. It goes back to the same spot, and then I'm just kind of going in a different spot every time, so it looks a little fanned out. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Isn't that cute? It's just a little something different. I don't know. And so I'm going to take my little buttons and do my little usual button thing. One larger button and one smaller one. And I like to do them different colors in case you hadn't noticed. Because I just think that just it just brings a cute little touch. I don't know. I like to add just little tidbits to my projects to kind of make it, I just think the details is kind of what makes it. And I stuck a couple of my little heart stickers on the top. Now let's move in to number six. We are scooting. Off of Amazon, I got this small little rolling pins and I think they are adorable. I love these on my tiered tray. And I just have a little bit of that pewter gray left over on my brush. And so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to put a little bit more and a little dash of water. And I kind of wanted it to be a stain because I'm going to decoupage around the middle part of it. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I think if I do that and use the same napkin, it just, everything on the tray has a theme. It's all got the same colors, the same, you know, everything just kind of goes together. And I like that. I think that's pretty. Now, on the handles of my little rolling pin, I'm going to do them a dark pewter gray. I did not do them like a stain. It was mainly that middle part. I didn't want that middle part to be so bright because we're going to put that napkin over it. And I didn't want it to overpower the napkin because most of the napkin's white. Okay, so I've got my cute little napkin again that's got the pink flowers on it, and I just put a little bit of Mod Podge, and I kind of rolled it, if you'll see here. And I do it in my small sections, like I was telling you before. That's how I always do my decoupage is in small sections. And I always make sure to use my saran wrap 
because that way your fingers don't stick to the napkin and you can get those wrinkles out with the saran wrap. It just takes a lot of practice and I've been practicing a lot more lately because I, you can do so much with these napkins and decoupaging. I just think it's so pretty. I really like it. And then I just cut off the excess and I just kind of rolled it around with my finger. Then I just finished it up by adding just a little bit more of the Mod Podge around it to make sure that we have everything sealed really good. I'm going to use a little bit of my French writing again. I want this one that says XOXO, and that means hugs and kisses. And do you know that it took me years, like I was a teenager before I figured out what that meant? I was always like, what's XOXO? And then I finally figured that out. I just like to leave little tidbits along the way, I guess. I don't know if anybody even cares when I found out what XOXO means, but I just thought I'd throw it in there while we're watching me put that on there. <laughs> And I love these transfers. They're so easy to work with. I took two of my little hearts that I colored with the pink blush color, and I'm going to stick those on the sides. I know this is going a little bit quick, but at the end of this video, I'm going to show you everything on the tear tray and slow it down so you can get a good picture of everything. I added my little buttons here on the end too, but I, for some reason, I didn't show that part, and I think this is sweet. Now, before we move on any further, I just need to take a moment to thank Miss Corey. She has a channel called Crafted by Corey, and she is hosting this collab today. She does this every month. It's her minis challenge, and there is a lot of talented ladies in this playlist. So, I'm going to leave the description link down below, and I'm going to leave Corey's channel down below. So, go down and check her out and check out this playlist when you're finished with my video. I think you're going to find a lot of DIY inspiration for your home decor. Now let's move right on into number seven. I made these really easy so they would be quick to recreate for your tiered tray for Valentine's Day. I've got this cute little galvanized looking letter that came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to take one of these little heart stickers to cover up that red heart that's on it. Because you know red's not the color I'm going with. I took some of that sheer pink ribbon that I've been using and I made one of the little bows that they call the cause bows where you make the loop around it and then just bring down the middle part. And I tied it with my little hemp rope. I put this in the middle part of the little letter and then I took one of those little stickers that I had colored and stuck it right in the middle of my little ribbon. And of course, I'm gonna take some of my little French words from the Dollar Tree off my little transfer sheet. And I'm gonna put those on the bottom. I found one that said postcard and one that said sent with love. And so I put those on there because I thought that was sweet. I'm gonna put one up in the middle on that heart on the top and then one down at the bottom. That was a little hard to see. It said handle with care. And then I'm going to take my hemp rope and I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I did with that other heart where I fan out my rope. And I think that's just really pretty. It just gives it a little added touch. And I stuck a few of those little pink heart stickers on there too. I have some cardstock from Hobby Lobby and it has music notes all over it. And I'm going to take this and roll it up and then just tape it. And I did two of those to make it look like little letters. And I topped it off with a little solo wood flower. We are moving right into number eight. I have three of those little wooden heart stickers from the Dollar Tree. One is plain, one is the light pink, and one is the brighter pink. And I'm just going to take that one that was plain and paint it white with apple barrel paint. And I found this little thing at Discovery Outlet for 29 cents. It's like a mini little flower planter and it's made of po like pottery. It's so cute. So I always keep the stems from flowers that I cut down 
like my fake flowers that I cut down. I keep the little stems because you never know when you need them. And I'm just going to stick those on the backs of these little hearts to make them look like little flowers. And I'm going to take another one of those little transfers from the Dollar Tree that has the French writing. And I looked this one up to see what this meant. And it said, to live without love is not to live. And I thought that was so cute. So I'm going to put that on the front of my planter. I had to add just a little bit of styrofoam so that these would stand up. And I'm just going to add my little hay on the top there before I put my little heart flowers. And then I'm just going to stick them down in there. I wanted to put a little bit more of that iridescent glitter on the white one because the other two had glitter on it. So I put a little bit of Mod Podge and my glitter. And I added a little bit of the moss because I think that looked prettier than the hay. I added my little heart stickers, one to each of them. And then I'm just going to do my little signature button move down at the bottom. Let's go into number nine. I've got one of the glass bottles that came out at Christmas time that had the Christmas tree and the snow in it. And I took the Christmas tree out and we're going to put some of this glitter vase filler inside of it. Because to me, they look like little pills. So we're going to do a love potion. So I just stuck the pink and the white ones in there. I think I stuck maybe like one or two of the little red ones in there just for a little fling. On Cricut Design Space, they had a little heart that said love potion number nine. So I printed that out on some of that vinyl that came from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to try it. I had some of the pink glitter kind. And I had to color in the words because since I didn't color my bottle, you couldn't see it as much. So I just used a little white marker that came from the Dollar Tree and colored in the words. I added my signature little double button down on the bottom. And I added one little piece of that transfer with the French words. This was sweet and simple and quick, and that's how I like to do my stuff on my tiered trays. We're already going into number 10, guys. I have one of those mailboxes that came from the Dollar Tree at Christmas time, and it had the green and red inside of it. So I took my Apple Barrel Pink Blush, and I just painted kind of around the inside, anywhere where you're actually going to be able to see it. Now, I'm not going to have this open all the way. It's just going to barely be open. So, I just kind of went around the inside parts that you would see and around the rim. I took some more of that transfer with the French writing on it. And this one had a butterfly on it. And I put that on the side. I hope I'm not boring y'all by using that same transfer over and over. But like I said, I like everything on my tiered tray to be cohesive. And so, we're doing the buttons, the pink and the French transfer. I just think everything looks better when it's all kind of the same theme, you know. I took one of those beautiful little wooden hearts that came from the Dollar Tree, and I put that on the top of the flag on the mailbox. I thumbed through my buttons because I was getting really low on my buttons at this point, and I did my little signature button. And by the way, these buttons came from the Dollar Tree, just a buck for all these different colored buttons. And I've got these little pearl stickers that came from the Dollar Tree, and I put that on the pink part that was going around. Then I took a few of those little heart stickers that I had colored and I put some of the dark pink and the light pink because I think it's cute when you kind of mix your colors up like that. I put those down toward the bottom of the mailbox. And then around the white part, kind of around the rim of the mailbox, I went up and around with the hearts. And this mailbox really turned out cute. I didn't think that it was going to be that cute when I started, but it really did turn out adorable. 
I added a couple more of those little hearts toward the top of the mailbox because it had a few little spots that were just uh, didn't have anything there and I felt like it needed a little bit of something else. And I think this is just so cute, y'all. And a part of that sticker says air mail. We are going on to number 11. This little milk can is always a staple on my tear trays. I don't care what season it is, I love it on my tear trays. I got it at Hobby Lobby for about $2. I think it had $2.99 on it, so it's like $1.50 when you get it half off. And I had this little heart that came off of something. I'm not really sure. It came off of one of my other projects. And I keep everything that I have. So I glued that to it. And I wrapped that sheer ribbon around it. And I think the color of this ribbon is so pretty. It's my favorite color. It's kind of a mauve color. I think that's so pretty. And I just wrapped it around in a little shoestring bow. And I added my little buttons. And on the top of my button, I added one of those little heart stickers. I took another one of those little wooden hearts, and I'm just going to glue it kind of catty corner up in the top of my little can so it will stand up. Then I took some more of that new music note paper, and I cut out two little pieces again, rolled it up and taped it like it's two little love letters, and I stuck it in the top. This one turned out really, really pretty. And one of my subscribers sent me a package that had a bunch of different keys in it, and there was one in there that said love, and I tied it around the top. And I love when I get sweet little things like that for my subscribers. I always try to use them in my DIYs. Guys, if y'all have stuck around this far, thank you so much for sticking with me through this whole video. And number 12, 13, and 14 are kind of going to be all together because they're the same theme. I ordered these off of Amazon. It's a little window, a ladder, and a fence. And I just think these are adorable to go on tiered trays. And these are in my Amazon store if you want any. I made a simple little bow from the sheared ribbon and I'm going to put that on my little fence. I found some of those little wood letters from Dollar Tree that says forever and I stuck that on my fence also. Now these little pieces came with these little small wreaths on them so they were already pre-made and I put the wreath back on my little window and my ladder and I'm going to add those little wood hearts to those. The little wreaths came with a black and white gingham bow and it didn't go with my scheme for my tear tray. So I just took that off and that's the reason why I had pulled the wreaths off. And then I'm just adding my buttons to everything. And like that's why I said I kind of did these three together and it made the video go a little bit quicker because I always feel like I'm boring you guys showing you things like painting and things like that that I know that you already know how to do. But I just added my little heart stickers to everything for some little embellishment. Oh, I hope you guys are going to stick around for the bloopers and to see Sabby. Everybody's been missing Sabby because he missed the last video. In case y'all didn't know, I've just been putting Sabby's little song and dance at the end with the bloopers because I just felt like it worked a little bit better that way. And I'm just going to kind of show you each one of these kind of together. And I got this beautiful tiered tray from Amazon. It's a three-tiered tray. It was like 50 bucks. But I mean, you know, those things are very expensive anyways. And I've been wanting one forever. So I'm going to show you everything set up on my new tiered tray. Opens up. And it's going to have my little letters coming out of it. There's one of them. Now this was a little thing that I made last year. And all it is is little heart pillows. I made it by cutting simple heart shapes out of fabric and then sticking a little bit of pillow filling down in it and that's all I did to that. See look I can put fit everything on this one. 
Wow. I've always wanted a bigger tear tray, a decent tear tray. Every tear tray I've ever got, I got at a thrift store and pieced together or because they cost so much. And so this is the first time I really splurged and said I'm gonna do this because I've always wanted one and never been able to get one. So I got me one and I'm really happy with this one. Put my little house back there, my little rolling pin. Wow, everything fits on this, it's crazy. Put all my pretty, and I got these at the Hobby Lobby last year after Christmas, they were left over. And I mean, technically they're Christmas decorations, but look how pretty those are. You can use those all year, especially springy. They're springy looking to me. So I'm gonna put those here. And let's see, my love potion. And this is another one of my favorite little things is my little flower kind of hard to do this from the back because I can't see what I'm doing here. And my little birdie, that's my bird that I made on my last video. I will link that video down below. It's just a video where I'm showing, um, where I did some decoupage and stuff. It's Valentine's also, it's really nice. I'm gonna have to get in the front here for just a second in y'all's view so I can put some of this stuff up here where it can be seen. Wow, I'm really happy with this tiered tray. Really, really. That's just a little flower. Uh oh, something fell, I heard it. All right, here's the last part. Okay, stick my house on there. Every tear tray has to have one of these, and I made this last year, so I just stuck it on there. Put it right there in the front where it can be seen. Another little heart. After the pictures, in just a second, stay tuned for the bloopers and Sabby. Everybody, it's Crafty Bobby Joe, Kathy's gorgeous cousin from down the holler that's going to make it to Hollywood and become a big old Hollywood star right here from this here channel. <laughs> and this here is my show, and I wanted to tell you guys, boy, you just don't know what's happened this week. Guess what? That Buford done went and did it. Guess what Buford did? He called me the other day and told me that that Sally Ann was nothing but a horse's patoot and that he still loves me. And I just knew in my heart that Buford was made for me on account of it happened right here before Valentine's Day. Now, what other kind of sign do you need? I mean, come on. Everybody knows that Buford is a handsome guy. But for him to look at me in that way, it just tickles my heartstrings. Bobby Joe, you need to listen to me and listen to me right now, young lady. Guys like that Buford are a dime a dozen. Now, I would rather break my arm than talk about anybody in any kind of negative way. But, honey, everybody in this here town knows that Buford ain't no good. Now, he is a ladies' man, and he is very good looking. But, honey, all he's gonna do is hurt you. 
Well, I don't care what you say, Mama. Guess what? I'm still going to become a big old Hollywood star because I just know that there's some agent out there watching this. And that you look at me and you say, wow, that girl's got it all. She can sing, she can dance, she's got looks. And her name is Bobby Jo Stillman. Now listen, I'm going to send my headshots in again. If there's any big Hollywood agents out there, you need to come and find me because I'm about to move to California to get my dreams a-going. You know, me and Buford thought that it would be real original if we waited until Valentine's Day, and that's when we're going to get married, because ain't nobody ever thought of that plan before. <laughs> so, all of y'all are invited, and then I will be moving to Hollywood to become a big old Hollywood star. And ain't mama, ain't nobody going to stop me. I'm headed to the top, guys. Well then, guys, <sighs> I don't know about my cousin Bobby Joe, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I love you guys, and here's old Sabby Boy. Are you ready to sing our little song? I thought so, because here on our channel, we got love and laughs and DIYs. We got love and laughs and DIYs. We got some love and laughs and DIYs. We got... Loving laughs and DIYs, yeah. Woohoo, baby. Yeah. And we got some Bobby Joes. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.